Making UVs for the dog is a fairly complicated problem because it requires that we break it into a bunch of different islands. And um, so the first thing we should cover is how to create a polygroup with a mask. Let's zoom in on the part here. And if we hold control on the keyboard and then left mouse and drag and then press, uh, well, first of all, what we've just done there is we've masked off part of the geometry. And if we press control W, it will make that masks area a new polygroup. Let's press control Z to undo. If we want to clear out a mask at any time, we can just control drag on a blank part of the screen. That will get rid of the mask. Or if we want to modify the mask, we can do that by holding control and alt at the same time, and that will erase out part of the mask. And then control W again to make the polygroup. Now, before we get started actually using this in the model, let's go up and change a couple small things about the way that this is set up. So you can see on the brush here that we have a, um, a yellow outer ring and we have an inner ring as well. The outermost ring here indicates uh, the, the full effect uh, of the brush. The inner ring effect shows where the, the brush is going to be strongest. And then it kind of tapers off as it approaches the outer ring. So I think it's most helpful to go ahead and turn the focal shift all the way down so that we're giving full strength everywhere. Now, um, in order to adjust the focal shift for the masking in particular, I have to hold the control key while I drag that slider. Okay, and I'm going to change the size of it a bit too. That seems fine to get started. So let's go ahead. We'll start with um, just the bottom of the feet, I guess. We'll go from the bottom to the top. Mask those off. Actually, I can't stand it. I'll show you a faster way. Let's um, I'll hold shift uh, and right mouse button to snap to this point of view. And then um, I'm going to hold control and drag. And this is another way of masking, just like that. And then we'll press control W. OK. And now, actually, let's go ahead and hide those poly groups so that we don't mess them up. They look pretty good. So we can do that by shift, control, click, and then click again. And that will get rid of those poly groups. So, um, they're just hidden temporarily. If we want to ever bring them back, we can just shift click or shift control click. That brings them back. Or if we want to invert the, um, the poly groups that are showing, we hold shift and control and then we drag a, a little box there. Okay. So we'll get rid of those bottom parts. And I think we're going to have to mask to get rid of the to break the legs off into separate layers. Let's go ahead and do that. And I won't get too nitpicky about this. I'll just go through. And this will seem a little bit strange at first, but I'll make it make sense at the end. Okay, control W, and then we'll hide all this stuff here. Shift, control, click. Control W, Shift Control, click. 
click. And let's see, I think I recall from my practice session with this, we had to break this sleeping bag off. I got a little carried away there, so I'll hold Control Alt. Let's see if I can get rid of some of those spots there. That looks fine, so we'll press Control W. And it didn't turn into, it, it made a new polygroup, but it's a very similar color to the other stuff, so I'll press Control Z and Control W again. And Control Z, Control W, that's much more visible. Okay, and we'll hide that. And I think that this tail is another place that is going to cause some problems. So let's um, just take half of it and make it its own polygroup. Control W. And let's break the head off too. And I'm going to make the brush size a bit bigger. So I'll hold S on the keyboard. Oh, wait. Yeah, that should, I think that's going to adjust the... Right, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Control W, and we'll hide that. And the final thing that I think is going to be a problem here is that the body wraps back around itself. And I think we need to give it a way of actually unfolding entirely. Um, this isn't how I did it last time, but I think this approach might work well. So let's actually just take a, a stripe out of the center. right down the middle where it won't be so visible, hopefully, because it'll be mostly on the underside. Just make that its own poly group. Okay, Control W. And let's bring everything back and take a look at it. think this will work. Let's give it a try and see. Uh, it's always a good uh, a practice to save before you um, use UV Master. It can crash pretty easily or just get hung up on a very complex operation. So Control S, save this as a different version, and then we'll go to Unwrap. I'll pause the video. It might take a minute. Oh, wait a minute. That went really fast. Let's see if it actually worked. Wow, it did. So um, that's surprising because um, some of the other <laughs> approaches I used to unwrapping took a very long time to uh, slice open. So this must be a more efficient operation. I, I guess maybe it was the stripe that I put under underneath that helped it out so much. Let's take a look actually at how this um, morphs if we do it a little slower. So we'll go down to the UV map panel and click on Morph UV. I'll zoom back some so we can see how it transforms. 